Hello everyone, this is Apple Cat and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a mod called the Ibishi Prazu. And I think it's the Hirochi Prazu, sorry about that. Um, but this is a very interesting mod because it's so dev like. Um, the picture um, I'll show you later in the video it looks like it's just from the devs, the background, and um, the quality is very nice. Um, but this looks like probably a 90s middle to upper class car. And um, I'm gonna hear, let you hear the engine sounds for a couple of seconds um, while I get this all ready. Now the version I currently have is actually, I think, a middle class one. It's like middle, it's not the best one, but it's, it's good. Um, as you can see while I'm driving it, it's pretty fast. Um, you saw, might have seen turbo overheating in the corner. Um, it, it has a trans brake as you can see in the corner. Um, but let's go ahead and switch it up. So, P-break and um, I think we should get the best one and then maybe go down to the, little, the worst one later on so right here you'll see that is pretty seamless for a photo um, go and um, you'll see I, I actually have the sport there's a target sport target stock stock target stock uh okay there's two of those obviously um manual and um, automatic sport a race police drag street drift and pro drift so um i think probably what we're gonna get is race or police um yeah we're probably gonna get a race so as you can see 1993 to 2002 so this is a very 90s focused car um, which is, I think is actually pretty cool because uh, we have a loss of 90s focused cars in the game and wow this is I've never seen a pink race car and uh, it's not just pink like I've yet to see that in my life very strange I mean I don't know I've never seen it I, it's, it's just odd to me why would you have a pink race car I don't even know maybe you pink with numbers but not just bare pink uh, anyway I'm probably emphasizing that too much um so we spin out um this isn't even a drift one so I think that this is probably not so realistic and I'm not because of the driving but because of the speed I don't know if in 93 the sport version of a vehicle would go not this fast but probably two-thirds as fast as this but I'm not sure I wasn't born in the 90s uh, I was born in the 2000s um, so oh oh those tricks um, let's try to hit this as a jump so I'm gonna go back and do the F8 thing the F8 thing that people call cool because I'm a cool kid okay I'm probably never gonna say that again because that was that was embarrassing <laughs> um all right so we're here now and um we're gonna talk the thing around why is it not moving uh, oh gearbox behavior i really don't know why they have that in uh, i don't think they should make it a key combination but a rather like a changeable thing in settings if you know what i mean um because i think it's a bit strange to have it as it's right next to the um, W button, which is more my fingers naturally fall, even though it's uh, the arrow keys to control the vehicle. Um, and so I'm always pressing Q. I'm like, what's this? Ugh, why isn't it working? Um, and also when I use the F8. This, uh, I don't know if you hear that. That's my sprinklers going off. Um, <clears throat> so that was a pretty nice crash. And you'll see the back window shattered. All of the windows except for the um, windshield shattered. Um, did lose a whole bunch of 
body parts. The bumper. Probably the back bumper. Jeez, okay. Right there, that's probably not realistic. I don't know if it would do that. Um. So, let's just do another crash. But this time, we're going to do, like, a really fast crash. So, probably as fast as we can. Let's see. After this, let's probably take it to a map and get a lesser edition of the car. Like, maybe less than a sport. That was a very dangerous crash. I don't know that the driver survived. Um, the passenger in the back, though. It's possible that they survived. It's highly unlikely. Though there probably was no passenger in the back. Um, that, that is an example of a crash that I wouldn't know whether it's realistic or not. I don't know that the car would get so demolished in the front, but it could have. Um, anyway, I'm going to take it to another map to for driving. Alright, so I got the car in stock. Now, um, no, I didn't get it in stock, but the stock edition of the vehicle. Um, now, I think that this would probably be more of the middle class one, because um, you can't really get more basic than a stock, but you can get a lot worse. Um, this one called the old and rusty and um, that's why it can get a lot worse um anyway we're gonna drive this not so fast like i don't want to spin out there um a little slower probably and i'm trying to do this split okay that was good enough we'll just take this the path that's right at us um uh, one thing that I thought was interesting is the spoiler. Um, it comes on every version of the car. Not that I've never seen that before, but I just thought it was interesting. Um, it's not common, uh, definitely. I don't know that I've seen it on many cars in this day and age, but it's uh, more of a thing you find on, like, <laughs> I don't know, I was, think, I was thinking a ricer, but this probably isn't a ricer. It might increase performance. Um... So that was not a very good split. It's not bad to drive at all. In fact, it's very good. But um, I just don't know how how realistic it is to a 1990s vehicle. Um, if we, if this is realistic to a 1990s vehicle, then this really needs to be emphasized because um, I don't know how, how new cars drive because I'm not old enough to drive yet. Um, but if it drives similar to this, then that's not a good reason to crash. <laughs> Don't crash, kids. Um, but I'm a kid, so I probably take that advice as well. Um, uh, well, we're gonna stop right here, and um, I think we should get one more thing to do. Um, so the stock is it's pretty good. But we're going to take it down a whole notch. So what we're going to do is, you'll see the stance, which isn't bad. The banger, which is, which is awful. The off-road and the ricer. So the ricer isn't terrible. It's pretty much a stock with ricer mods. Um, let's We'll take out the ricer in a second, but I want to take out the old rusty car. Um, this will be interesting to me because I personally... Um, Oh, oh, that's horrific, but, um, let's see just how this thing drives. I'm not, oh, well, um, that's not very much kick it has. I'm not even going to do a full lap. I'll probably stop in between and grab the ricer. Um, I actually have a special spot in my heart for ricers. Um, not that I've ever owned one or anything, but I just like them. Um, not a cardboard ricer, obviously. Um, and when I grow up, I probably won't have a car that's a ricer. Probably gonna have a car, a car more like this one. Um, but, um, I just think that it's kind of interesting to add these modifications that cost, like, the cheap. They're $50. I think it's cool. <laughs> Not that I would ever do that, but I just think it's kind of interesting. Um, that you can do this and it probably won't boost the performance of your car. But it'll make people think so. Um, wow, okay, does this even have a radiator in it? 
It sure does not look like it. If you look over there by the speedometer where the red bar is, it's going up and down really fast. Um, if it does have a radiator in it, it's probably not stock. Um, cooling, overheating, oh, that's a problem. Uh, this um, looks more beat up than ever, but um, we should stop it here, grab the ricer, and then probably end the video. Look at that exhaust though, jeez. That is a lot of exhaust to be putting out for, it's like truck exhaust right there. Um, get the, um, riser out. I don't want the yellow riser. Fire red, there we go. Whoa, that's a not a very nice red. That's a 90s red that you, actually. Okay, this is a bad riser. Don't, oh. Oh, well, on the back, it's not terrible, but it replaces that stock, apparently, um, spoiler, and changes it for that one. I mean, if you saw this thing rolling down the street, and it was stock, it would be pretty cool, except for the front modification, I don't like that at all. Uh, oh my gosh, is that the steering wheel that I see? Oh, I forgot to tell you the interior as well. Oh, that's, that's awful. And okay, well, that's not too much. They took off the body panel on that side. Um, this car is a right side drive. Um, that's not the standard where I live, but I don't know. We'll drive a little bit in this view. Oh. Uh, it's something cool about driving in first person in this game. I think that it's a lot of the bouncing around that makes it more realistic. But not only that, but it's just cool driving in um, something that's faster. It's like, whoa. There we go, get a crash up in here. Alright, so the driver survived probably. Hopefully. Um, anyway, orbit. Uh, yeah. Alright, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video, um, if you did enjoy it, please do leave a like, um, that would be greatly appreciated, um, subscribe, anything you want to do, it really does help me out, um, and thanks for watching, see you guys all later, goodbye!